many times, so let me throw a few issues that are paramount on my mind. I come from a large rural western Wisconsin district. Rural health care is obviously very, very important. Um, and yet, my constituents would certainly be concerned with the $2 trillion of proposed cuts that we're seeing right now in the administration's budget affecting Medicaid and Medicare funding. You know, in the last eight years, we've lost 83 rural hospitals. There are over 700 that are listed on the very vulnerable list right now. They're all operating on a very uh, thin margin. And those type of cuts, especially given a population that's very Medicare dependent, could mean life or death to many of these rural providers. I'm looking at Ms. Sewell here, and there are others on the committee that have equal concerns when it comes to. So I encourage you to work with the Rural Health Care Caucus that we've established in the House. Myself and Kathy McMorris Rogers are co-chairing that. So as we bring issues to you, that uh, you'll give it due consideration. Um, but I also uh, want you to keep an eye on uh, Indian health, very important programs. I come from Indian country myself, too, and work very closely with them. That's another important area of jurisdiction. And then for me, when it comes to health care reform, hopefully, with your help and leadership, we can get out of this box of ACA and no ACA and start focusing on what's working and what isn't in the health care system. And one thing that I see working in my own backyard are health care providers with wonderful models of care. I'm, I'm talking about the Gundersons, the Males, the Marshfields, the Aurora, the Theta Cares that go to an integrated, more coordinated, more patient-centered health care model producing great results, embracing that type of model where we need to drive the health care system today, but also embracing something that is in the Affordable Care Act, and that's the move to value, to quality, to uh, establishing the payment system based on results and not just doing more. I think that is so fundamental if we're going to get our hands around the rising costs of health care in our country and getting to better models of care that produce better results at a better price. And there's an institution that was created in the Affordable Care Act to help us with alternative payment models, the Center on Innovation. Unfortunately, that's come under attack, some partisan attack, I think, unjustly, but they're going forward with pilots and experimentation, finding out what will work, what incentives need to be there to encourage the providers to get the outcomes and quality and away from fee-for-service, just more uh, uh, payments regardless of, of the results. So I hope that you embrace the Center on Innovation and the good work that they're doing there. Certainly, you know, reforms and modifications are in order, but there is, contrary to a lot of the political rhetoric, a lot of important things in the Affordable Care Act that will be crucial to getting us to a better outcome and a better payment system within the health. And also, uh, being from the drug industry yourself, hopefully you're going to be able to provide insight on what we can do working together to address the rising cost of prescription drugs, which is one of the main cost drivers in the health care system. So we look forward to working with you in the future. Thank you, Mr. Chairman. Thank you, Mr. Kine. Mr. Martin, you're recognized.